Okay guys, I'm feeling a little bit mad today. Now, anybody who knows who knows me knows how much I love um, the Osgwaelga versions of our favourite songs done by uh, T.G. Lurgan. So you know, Shocked on the Gwaelga every year, I take one out and um, I create a dance to them. So uh, today I'm going to do the same, but I'm going to do one that I've always wanted to do, but it is so, so super fast that I've never actually uh, been brave enough to bring it into a school or bring it into my classes. So um, this is part of my uh, small dance series. So I'm gonna imagine that if you were at home that you do not have a great big studio. So I've been following some tutorials and there's these great big studios and who has that at home? I know I definitely don't have that at home. So I'm creating dances here for small spaces. Uh, so do check that you have, um, that you have like arms length, maybe reach either side and forwards and backwards but you can always adapt it to your space by just making it much, much smaller. But do clear back what you, um, any trip hazards or whatever you can, do clear it back to give yourself the maximum space. Or maybe you have loads of space. I don't know, I know I don't have loads of space. Loads of space outside, not inside. Okay, so um, if you go on the TG Lurgan now, below this video, I will stick the list of steps we need and also a link to TG Lurgan's um, YouTube page where you'll get the full song. And this will be a great way of you uh, retuning your ear to our Osquelga, uh, which might help with your homework or your studies at the moment as well, because there's a nice little bit of spoken word at the beginning. Uh, the music kicks in from about 30, 33 seconds. So um, we will do it. So it is Macklemore's and Can't Hold Us. And it's, a, I don't know how they do this. I don't know how they uh, rap that fast in English, let alone Osquelga. So I tip my hat to them. Okay. So I'm going to do it fast, but we're going to do our repetitions in phrases, okay? Now, if you if this is your first video that you have done, then do go back and warm up first. And I would highly recommend the, um, the full hip-hop party step warm up, okay? So it's going to be a complete one. It's about seven minutes long, but it will give you um, the basic foundation steps that we use for our routines, but it'll also give you variations in a repetitious way. Great way to warm up and a great little fitness um, challenge for yourself. So I'll, I'll stick that down below as well. So if you haven't done that yet, do not do this cold. Okay, you're likely to get injured and that will not be good. So make sure you've warmed up first, you've done your stretches. So go back to the videos and find those first. Don't just dive straight into this one. It is fast. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is at the beginning, we're going to practice our grooves. Now I'm just going to take a basic bounce for this, whatever I feel. But again, remember for our hip hop grooves, you've got to bounce your knees, you've got to contract your centers, and there's also a little sway, but it's a great way of showing your style. So we're just going to style it out at the beginning. If you want to go cray cray on that one, then please do. But get your hair out of your face and let's get going. Okay, when we go into the verse, uh, we're going to do a sequence of three Reeboks and one slide. Okay, so Reebok or Reebok recap is just your groove, groove, bounce, bounce. Okay, this is just basically one of your foundation steps. Third one, and then you're gonna slide to the side and then take two claps, boom, boom. Now I'm gonna use a back rock on that, but for the Reebok, I'm using a front rock. Okay, we do this two times. Well, this is the third one, but we do the whole sequence two times. Slide and clap. Now I'm racing through this because I'm going to assume if you found this video that you've already know your foundation steps. If you don't, do go back and do them first. Okay, so part one of the verse is three Reeboks with a slide and claps. Okay, next part, part two is our preps. So one full round of preps. Uh, uh, uh. Then you're going to slide towards me and give me two claps high in the air and then slide back and give me two brush offs. So you've got, and we're going to do that full thing twice, okay? So it's prep, 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 and prep, slide it up, boom, boom, back, boom, boom, all right? Okay, so you've got your Reeboks three times with a slide, you've got your prep once through with us two slides, and then we're on to our next one, our cross step variation. So this is a basic variation I do in all my classes. It's just a single, a single, and then your variation, front, side, back, step. So you've got your single, single, front, side, back, okay? And that, we're gonna do that three times. Cross, cross, front, side, back, then you jump it out, right foot in front, front twist turn. Okay, so you start with your Reebok section, your prep section, then your cross step section. 
Okay, and then the final part of the first verse is your pops. So if you haven't done your popping yet, go back over that tutorial video, um, or it'll be, uh, it'll be in the warm up as well. Okay, so your pops, which is your tensing and your relaxing of the muscles. So we're gonna do two Fresno, so we're gonna go Fresno, Fresno, and then two with arms high, high, high. Again, Fresno, Fresno, high, Hi, and you can change these for any pops. If you're working on your popping at the moment and you want to take something else, please do, okay? But just you've got the rhythm of boom, 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 and boom, 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 and then your walkouts. So you've got boom, boom, dum, dum, turn, and double, and dum, da, 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 turn, and double. And of course, you can do single pops there. If you just want to go pop, 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 pop. So we're basically using our training exercises to put together a routine. Okay, that's the most complex it gets. So once you've gotten that, which if that means you go over this video a couple of times, please do because it gets fast. So you've got three Reeboks, and then a slide with two claps. You've got one round of prep, slide, back, brush offs. Then you've got your cross step section with your front side back. And again, cross step section, front step back. Third time. And then you've got out, cross, turn. And then you've got your Fresno. And high, high, and Fresno. Fresno, and high, high, and walk out, two, and three, and a boom, 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 and boom. Okay, so what I'd love to do now is I'd love to do that much with the music, just to give you a feel for it, and then I'll give you the other two sections, which are dead easy. Well, there's three sections, but two more to learn, and then one is a bit of a freestyle, a wave freestyle. So if you haven't done your waving techniques yet, then go back and, and um, conclude that and um, do that video. Okay, so let me see if I can get our music and I'll see if I can check it in. Okay. This is Misha McLemore. Okay, cool. August is even Lynn on Delta. Okay, go your bands. So any bands and groove you want to do. Keep going. Okay, so we're getting into the bridge now. Right, so our bridge is just a little bounce, a bounce, and then I'm adding a hit. I don't know if you can see my feet there. I'm just adding a hit. So boom, hit, boom, hit. But again, that's just my interpretation of the music. So you make sure that you have your own interpretation of the music again. Okay, so it goes side, hit, side, hit, side, hit, and then two patty jukes. Boom, boom, and then repeat to the left. Side, hit, side, hit, side, hit, boom, boom, and again, side, hit, and I'm also putting a little hit into my chest here. Side, hit, side, hit, boom, boom, and your passage juke again was in the warm up. It's just a little quick transfer side to side. Okay, so you ready? So you've got and 
side, hip, side, hip, third time, ba, ba, da, side, hip, side, hip, side, hip, do, 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 side, hip, side, side, hip, boom, ba, do, side, hip, side, hip, side, ba, do, ba, do. And then we go into the chorus. Now, I flipped it. Usually the chorus is the biggest part of it, but in actual fact, what I've done is, I've taken it down a notch. Um, so very simply, in the chorus, you can choose something you want to put in here, but I'm just going to put in the groove walk or the catwalk. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to walk left, right, left, and I'm just going to go bounce, bounce. Oh, hey, look at me, looking so cool. Looking so cool. And then to the back. Two, three, boom, boom. And then add in a salsa step, but put your hands up and down and right. Then to the left and left. And that's just a simple salsa step with just the two little bounces with your arms in the air again. If you have a better idea and you want to put something else in there, this can totally be your dance. There's no law to say you have to follow this completely. If you get suddenly, you get the feeling of doing a completely different move, then please do it. Okay, so the only other thing we have then is for the, um, for the break is we're just going to wave freestyle. So this is a chance for you to practice. I don't want you to learn my wave freestyle. I want you to completely go off and do your own one, all right? So again, if you haven't learned how to wave yet, then go back and check out that tutorial before doing this. Or, or do you know what? Just go and put in something else. Um, whatever other moves that you're working on at the moment, just use as the freestyle and learn your wave later. Okay, so do you want to hear how that's going to sound? I am going to... <laughs> into our bounce, into our walk, and then into our wave freestyle. So I'll see if I can find our wave freestyle bit for you. Be after the chorus. This is our legs. Bump. Yeah. Hands up. Walk again. Thank you. 